welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with my Chanel uh, collection my entire Chanel collection um, it's not going to include makeup but it's going to include some perfumes SLGs shoes and of course handbags um, so just as a disclaimer if you are a type of person that gets offended by collection videos or by everything luxury please click out um, this will not be not for you if you are you know not into these things but um, if you are please enjoy and um, you know this video is for um, other ha uh, luxury collectors out there who enjoy or who, who enjoy uh, seeing other people's uh, luxury collections so please keep on watching if you do like these types of videos so um, I'm just gonna start off with the small things to the very large things so, the very first one is my Chanel Double Facets Mirror um, in black, obviously, and it has two uh, mirrors, the magnifying and um, one just regular mirror, and I really, really love this. It's very, very compact. It's um, it's very sturdy. It's very easy to open. Um, I, don't, I don't have to struggle opening this, and that's a big thing when it comes to... Um, little personal mirrors like this I have to you know usually struggle to open it but this here is super super easy to open um, and the next one here are Chanel perfumes these two here are my only like um, legit <laughs> Chanel perfumes and this here is my Chanel number no. five and this here is the Coco Mademoiselle I got this first the Coco Mademoiselle in the 50 milliliter size and um, I do like this, um, but I rarely wear this because it does get strong at the end of the day, like pretty strong. So I have to be very careful with this. Um, and and also, like if I spray too much perfume in general, I just I just start to get nauseous a little bit. So I have to be careful not to spray too much. Like I can't spray more than two. If I spray more than two, I, it's like I can't do it anymore. For that perfume and basically same goes with this this is the Chanel number no. five um you know because this is such a classic and you know a lot of reviews say this will go on uh, this will go well with about just about everyone unfortunately this not so much for me it smells a lot more like baby powder and then as the day goes on it just smells a little bit more like like it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger with the smell so i'm not too keen on this Hence the reason why I only have the 35 milliliter, and I've only used like three sprays on this um, top. So, and then the next one here, this is actually my absolute favorite Chanel um, per fragrance, and it's the Chance Eau Tendre Twisting Spray. And uh, this is the travel version of the Chance Perfume Eau Tendre, um, and reason why I don't use this anymore is because the actual little traveler um, container actually broke. Um, what happened was it it rolled because this is round. It it'll you know casually just roll off the table and crash onto the floor. And then this little tap top part here where you spray the perfume from falls out, and it, my whole perfume uh, bottle shattered. So you know i have to get a new one so i'm hoping to get a new set um when i go to when i go on my vacation when i'm at the airport and i can go through to duty free to get this so that's that and then the next one here are shoes these here are um my very first chanel pair of chanel shoes and these are my camellia black lambskin camellia pumps um, I got these on sale last June, July-ish, um, and I really, really love, love these. These are, like, my really, really fancy Chanel shoes, um, for, you know, fancy occasions, like, fancy birthday parties or something, um, weddings, um, other special events, you name it. Um, I love, love, love wearing these, and these are so, so cash, uh, classic, and they go with absolutely everything, even with, like, a pair of jeans and stuff like that, but that and then next one here are my Chanel espadrilles in black lambskin and um, these are by far the best shoes 
like luxury shoes ever in my whole entire collection because they are comfortable I can wear these um, for a good 16 hour day and you know be okay with wearing them be and I'm not I'm not like super dead I never actually got a blister from these shoes um, the only time I get hurt is you know obviously I'm gonna wear these for too long or when I'm standing too long um, my feet do get a little bit sore and tired so what I did was I actually added some gel little inserts in here just for the heel and for the heel um, the the heel here on the foot pad here is just for comfort and then the little heel pad in the very back here is actually to uh, make sure that the actual heel of the shoe doesn't you know um, crinkle and kind of slouch forward like this so it actually just makes it stay in place like that so it's that and the other pair of Chanel shoes I don't have with me because I actually wear those in the office at work so um you know they're at my office right now but they are basically the very very classic uh classic black quilted uh ballerina flat from chanel and those are really really comfy as well um but i only wear them in the office because i don't want to ruin the sole very much so and because in my office it's mostly carpeted the the soles are pretty much uh practically safe so that's that um and next one are um chanel jewelry and these are my chanel pearl drop earrings uh, these are my very very first chanel uh jewelry piece um that i got from them um i think it was like two 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 and a half years ago i got these and i really really love these um very very classy as you can see that's basically what they look like um and then these are my other pairs of Chanel um, earrings. These are the classic large crystal earrings. Again, this is what they look like. They kind of look like they float off my ear, which I really, really like that kind of look. Um, and then next one here is it's my last piece, um, last jewelry piece from Chanel is the. Uh, oh, turn the other side um is the it's not a classic cc but um it's a very very popular style from chanel it's with like a, a crystal and metal entwined cc with a pearl drop here and you can actually wear this in two lengths one like super long like down here and then one that goes up to just about your collarbone here so it's like it goes up to there ish and I really, really like this. Um, I wear this piece a lot. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Okay, and next piece here are my Chanel card holders. Um, this here is my very, very first card I got from Chanel. Um, and this is in the red patent leather with silver hardware. Um, the CCs here, I get a lot of questions about this piece because the c because the cc's on here are so large and it's actually like quilting quilted embossed um metal in the cc's so um it is quite unique it's very very chanel um i got this back in 2013 the christmas edition so these are this is like three years old basically two and a half years old basically so if um you can't get this in boutiques anymore, but you can definitely get these in um, on the pre-loved market. Um, and these are like this. This is just a small card holder with just two um, two compartments: one main, large one, and one like business card part there. And then the other one here. This is kind of more more recent purchase I got. Um, is the classic flap with the classic flap little um, little button here and this is in pink patent leather with silver hardware and the interior I'm actually kind of using this right now it's just holding a whole bunch of junk um, there's two main slots in here and then there's one little small card holder compartment here and then it has a back pocket so this here does actually hold a lot more and actually can be used um, in a lot more ways than this and this can actually hold way more cards than this. I believe this can only hold like um, up to um, 
10 to 15 cards. This here holds about 15 to 20 cards, so about five more cards in here. And also the back pocket really does help, um, you know, for things where you need to constantly take things in, out, in and out of this wallet, which for example is my Metro card. So I put that in here and um, every time I need something, I usually just take it out from this pocket very easily, fast and easy. I, if, if I were um, to pick out of the two, I would definitely say this one first and then this one. But because this is so super hard to find, it took me a couple years to find this. Um, you know, I, I just, I settled for this at first because this wasn't as popular at the time. But this has, this is definitely way more popular than ever. So, um, if you are in a Chanel boutique and you are wondering about this piece, be do be aware that this piece does sell out fast so you know always ask your essay um, for help on that um, and the next wall here is a large large wallet and it's um, the classic flap from the classic flap family as well um, this is also in patent leather with uh, navy in the na color navy with um, it's not a um, very shiny silver I think it's like a shiny ruthenium hardware kind of silver so um it's not as shiny as like this silver here if you could see so um this here has a whole bunch of compartments definitely holds a lot more stuff it has a lot more compartments um it doesn't come with this little booklet here i put that in myself um it comes with a large main compartment here um so many pockets so many cards you can put in here it also comes with a back pocket as well um i use this back pocket the same function i use um for the back pocket on this piece um and then the next one here is um if you've been watching my videos for quite some time you probably know this is i always say this but this here is my one and only like at the time very very first luxury piece in my entire collection this here really, really did um, make, like, started my addiction. I really, really love this piece. It's in lamp, black lambskin and silver hardware. The silver hardware is is uh, scratched up, um, but not, like, a lot. It's still pretty shiny. But the leather is in perfect, like, condition for a two-and-a-half-year-old bag. Um, you do see some wrinkling here and here, but that's just the nature of it when you open it constantly like this so um but it's in absolutely great condition um the sides have kept its shape there's no bulging or anything um just except for the bottom but i mean that's just natural for the bottom uh, interior love the um love my chanel walk um i use this a lot for very very light days this is my very small casual light chanel days um, and then next one here I'm going to show you is my Chanel GST and this is in the black caviar with silver hardware. This is actually my very, very first like very large handbag for my Neverfull from Louis Vuitton. Um, it's a very, very large bag. Sorry, I, I have it stuffed right now. But um, this bag here is about two years and a couple weeks. So it's in perfect condition. It hasn't really sagged, but that's only because I've really um, captured a good way how to storage this piece. Um, and what I do is I, I obviously I stuff it, and when I when it's in its dust bag, I have it, you know, up on its side like this. And then every month or two or whatever, I just rotate it, and the because all the pressure is being put on the side to be flattened. It actually ensures the structure of the straight of this handbag. So, really, really love this handbag. I love this. It's a great large, uh, heavy, heavy work, work bag. Um, I use this a lot for when I have to go over meetings and stuff like that, um, or just on days where I know I'm gonna be super, super busy, but yet I don't want to carry like a duffel bag with me. So this is one bag I will take with me. And the next one here, I'm actually using it right now, and it is the Chanel Old Medium Le Boy. 
in red calfskin leather and in ruthenium silver hardware. So it's not a it's not a shiny hardware. It's more of a rustic feel. Um, it's very it's a matte finish. Um, and this is in calfskin, so it's a very very it's very different. I'd say it's like an in between of caviar and lambskin. So it has the smoothness of the lambskin, but it has a durability of um, of uh, of caviar and. The stitching on here is is the double stitch, so like a lot thick, a lot, lot more thicker um, stitches, but um, with also larger quilts. And I got this in last this I got this last August, so 2015, August 2015. And at the time, these they were making a lot of these large quilts. On the boy bags last year and I'm really like happy I picked one up because um, I actually prefer this very clean look here with the large quilting so and it's a great very lightweight bag um, I don't really have there's not a lot of cons about this bag it's very very light it's so comfortable it's the most comfortable Chanel handbag ever in my collection and for a medium size, I can definitely hold a lot more than um, what what I think this can hold with my eyes. So, that's that. And next and last handbag is my holy grail to me, the Chanel Classic Jumbo uh, Double Flap in the ca black caviar leather and silver hardware. Again, this is in its... Um, just in its um, storage packaging um, it takes forever for me to, to pack this up but this is it my one and only holy grail Chanel jumbo classic flap and I'm super super happy to have her she really um, does make me feel so much happy and just very very much bag handbag content which is also another reason why I haven't purchased um, a handbag in such a long time and almost like a year I think it's been like six seven months or something like that so I'm doing really really good <laughs> not buying handbag but she really does um, you know help me not purchase another handbag so that's really good um, she holds a ton it's so classic I wear this all the time even if it's like a non formal event I'll wear, I'll wear this out to like the park or whatever, like I'm totally fine. It's uh, a great everyday bag, it's a great um, evening out bag, it holds a ton, um, a little bit he on the heavy side, but I totally recommend this, it's, this is my holy holy grail. And yeah, that's basically it, that's my entire collection, however, I do have a surprise for you. Um, <sighs> Okay, so on Instagram, I, I kind of fibbed and I said, you know, I, I was looking, but I actually did purchase it um, because I, first of all, I wanted to hide it from my boyfriend because he does look at my Instagram from time to time, so I really did not want to show him that I got this because he'll just like, you know, boyfriends, husbands, whatever, they're very very protective over like you know luxury goods and shopping and stuff like that but yeah so <laughs> that's that but um fashion be amy and snape hbp and amy joe know that i actually purchased this um like a week ago and this is it this is my chanel zippy card holder in the chevron quilting with silver hardware and I absolutely love this piece. It is so, so different. Um, mostly just because of the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The chevron, sorry. And the fact that it's in caviar really, really wins me over. Because this is actually the very, very first caviar piece I have in my whole collection. So I'm super happy to have this in my collection. It holds a ton of cards. It holds a maximum of 12 cards. Plus, maybe, like, some bills and stuff like that, but I think that's basically all that can fit in here. I don't want to stretch this out because I don't want to, like, overkill it, um, as I usually do with my SLGs, but this here is my favorite, favorite show right now. It's, like, 
this is on par with with my classic flap um, little card holder. It's on par. It's on the same like love level as this one here. So, um, yeah, and I'm really super super happy because I have because I have this now. This is really really wanting me to get a Chanel Chevron mini flap. That would like totally complete. I I think it would totally complete my Chanel collection, in my opinion, because um, it's it's just so perfect. Um, and I actually want to change up my Chanel collection a little bit. I want to add a little bit more, more, um, options in my collection other than just the regular quilting because all my handbags just have the classic quilting. So I want to add a little bit more variety in my Chanel collection, which, which is why I got this. Um, they had, at the Chanel boutique, they had it in the classic quilt in the caviar but I had to decline that because I fell in love with this first and this is actually the first time I've actually seen in person that um, Chanel had have the chevron collection in caviar leather because caviar leather is a total like it is absolutely amazing um, caviar it lasts a little bit longer it's a little bit more sturdier then lambskin doesn't scratch as easy but yeah so that's that's practically it. That's my whole entire collection. The one thing that you're probably wondering is where my where my Chanel L zip wallet in the lambskin is. And um, truth of that is that I actually sold it because I actually grew tired of, well, number one, not using it. And B, because it was just so delicate, I was so afraid to use it to... and to the extent where I was afraid to just take it out of my handbag and because it's a wallet I always want to keep it in, a, in the zipper compartment of my handbag like for my for example my GST I always put it in the middle compartment with the zipper because um, you know for uh, safety reasons and um, you know every time I would take that wallet out the zippers would just scratch and scuff the outer edges or the corners or ac the actual leather surface of the leather so I had to you know really really baby it use it only like a handful of times every now and then from year to year and I couldn't I could not handle it I was not using it I was using I'm using more my little Chanel card holders more than than that wallet so um, I sold that and I hope to um, you know eventually invest that money into um, to another I'm not, I'm not gonna get any more wallets I have so many wallets from Chanel now probably get like um, a mini flap or another handbag in the Chevron um, from Chanel but we'll see we'll see how that ha how that works um, but yeah that is my collection video let me know in the comments below what you think of my collection and uh, maybe recommend any any sh any other Chanel handbags or any other Chanel pieces you recommend uh, for my collection um, I'm, I'm always new to um, you know new new s designs or new types of items in my collection because um, I'm that type of person that I like to be very different than the rest of you know everyone else kind of thing if you have not noticed with all of my Chanel pieces they are quite unique in some ways or form uh, in my opinion so uh, yeah l let me know um, in the comment section below if you have any questions or you know you know what my opinion about something please uh, and you want it right away please um, ask me on Instagram uh, Catherine is a cat and I will get back to you as soon as fast as I can I'm usually pretty good with responding on Instagram rather than YouTube because I'm not really on YouTube you know answering um comments a lot of the time so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoy this video please again let me know in comments below what you think and i hope you guys have a great and fantastic day or night wherever you are and uh thanks everyone have a great day Bye bye